Hey our friends, today we're drawing Mickey. Yeah, we hope you're gonna follow along with us. I love Mickey Mouse and we've drawn him before, but we, it was kind of complicated. This yeah. one we're gonna keep really simple. We hope you're gonna follow along with us. You need something to draw with. We're gonna use markers. You also need some paper and something to color with. Yeah, and we're using <laughs> markers to color with. So we're also using marker paper to draw on. And the marker paper keeps the markers lasting longer so that they don't wear out or dry out fast. Yeah. All right, you ready to start? Yes. Let's first start by drawing Mickey's nose, and we're gonna draw an oval shape right in the middle of our paper. I'm gonna draw it about this big. And then we can color in that shape. Then let's draw the eyes, and I'm gonna draw a circle right here, and the same size circle over here for the other eye. Then let's draw a small circle in the top left of each eye. And we're going to color in the big circle, but leave that little circle white. This little white circle makes the eyes look shiny. Now let's draw the mouth and we're gonna draw Mickey really happy. <laughs> and we could also add little cheeks, cheek lines too, if we want. Okay, now we're ready to draw Mickey's head. We're gonna draw a big circle, but we also wanna make sure that his face is towards the bottom of the circle. So I'm gonna start up a little higher, like up here, and I'm gonna turn my paper sideways. Sometimes that makes it a little easier to draw. So I'm gonna start here. Well, he's gonna have a big head. I'm gonna come around, then we're gonna come underneath, back up on the other side, and we're gonna stop where we started. And if you want, you could use a template or something to trace around, like a cup or a bowl. And that way you would get a perfect circle if you want, but I like drawing freehand. It's fun to practice. Yeah. You did a great job. Thank you. Okay, now let's draw his ears and their circles also, but we're gonna draw them smaller. I'm gonna start right about here, and we're gonna draw the first ear right here. And it's okay if you overlap a little bit or come into the head because we're gonna color the ears black. Okay, let's see if we can draw that same size circle over here, and that's okay if they're slightly different. I'm gonna kind of look at it and try to use my eyes to measure. Whoa, there we go. <laughs> you did it, good job. Now let's draw the inside of Mickey's head or the little shape up here. We're gonna start by drawing a guide point right above the nose in the forehead. And then we're gonna draw a curve that comes up like this, around, and we're gonna come really close to the eye. And we're gonna do the same thing over here on the side. So I'm gonna match, almost looks like the letter M for Mickey, right? Yeah. <laughs> and then right here, we're gonna draw the cheek that comes up and connects to the outside. And we're gonna do that on the other side too. Nice, we did it. Now, this next part where we'll fast forward, we're gonna color in the ears and also this top shape on Mickey's head. And remember to pause the video and take extra time to color this in on your drawings. And we can also switch to the other side of our marker so that we can color these shapes in faster. We have the chisel side and that makes it way easier. Yes. All right, you ready to fast forward? Yep. Now we're switching back to the fine tip part of our marker and we're ready to draw the body. And we're gonna keep it really simple. We'll just draw two lines coming straight down from Mickey's chin. And I kind of got a little wider towards the bottom. Yeah, and then we can draw a line straight across. Then we're gonna draw the top of Mickey's shorts. We could draw a little line to split the legs. And then let's also draw the buttons on Mickey's shorts. Draw two ovals or circles. And then we're ready to draw the legs. Let's draw one leg sticking out of each short. So I'm gonna draw a line that comes out, but we can make those a little thicker. So I'm gonna draw another line next to it and kind of turn them into rectangle shapes. Next, let's draw his shoes. I'm gonna draw a letter C that comes out to the left. Let's do a backward C on the other side. And we're gonna repeat those two 
shapes or two lines or curves on the other leg. So a C and a backward C. That's the top of his shoes. And then we're going to draw the rest of his shoe coming out to the side like this. We're going to come out, around, and then curve back in. <laughs> I love Mickey Mouse so much. Yeah. <laughs> Then we're gonna do that same shape, try to make it look exactly the same, but going the other direction. So we're gonna curve out, around, and then back in. And that's okay if they look a little different. Okay, now let's draw Mickey's arms. We're gonna start here. We're gonna draw a line that comes down right next to the body, and then we'll connect in. Then let's do that same shape on the other side. I'm gonna draw it right next to the body and then connect in. And then we're gonna draw Mickey's gloves. So we're gonna draw that letter C just like we did for the shoes. We can do a backward C on the other side or the other arm. Then we're gonna draw his hand and we'll keep it really simple. We're just gonna curve like this and connect into the shorts. And then let's also add a smaller curve just like that one for the thumb. Let's do the same thing over here. We'll draw a curve that comes around and connects into the shorts and then the smaller one for the thumb. We're almost done. We were missing one important thing, his tail. Yes, let's draw Mickey's tail coming out to the side. I'm gonna draw it coming down like this and then curving the other direction. Oh, also let's color in the arms and also his chest body. or the top of his yeah. body. Now we have one more thing left to do. Color. Yes, my favorite part. We are gonna fast forward again, so remember to pause the video and take extra time to color in your drawings. You ready to fast forward again? Yes. Jack, give me five. We finished coloring Mickey. It wasn't too complicated, was it? Yeah. <laughs> we only used two colors, one for the shorts and the other for the shoes. And what were the two colors that we used? Red 15 and yellow 33. Yeah, and we're using our Art for Kids Hub alcohol-based markers. So if you have the same set, you could use those same colors. We also used CG1 to add a little shadow underneath Mickey to make it look more 3D. And then we also used our white and blue colored pencil, our Prismacolor colored pencils, to add a little extra highlight to the eyes. We hope you have fun drawing Mickey Mouse. We do, we hope you had a lot of fun. And remember, it's okay if your drawings look different than ours. Both of our drawings don't look exactly the same, but they both turned out awesome. Yeah. That's because the most important thing is- To have fun. And to- Practice. Yeah, remember to have fun and practice. And we'll see you later, our friends. Goodbye. Goodbye.